Chapter 12, State of Emergency. The photographs are spread across Papa's desk. He'd brought them home to show Mama after turning late at night. They don't notice Shade creeping into the study. Silent tears slip down Mama's cheeks. How can they do this, follow him, wasting such young lives? Mama holds up a picture. Body sprawled over the grass, she picks up another. A young man's body slumped across the steps, arms clawing forward, as if he was trying to get up the stairs but didn't make it. Where was this following? Where was he? Outside the library. Mama shakes her head, almost in disbelief. It was the same university where Mom, Papa and Mama had met all the students. Papa had travelled up there to report on student disturbances, as the authorities like to call them. The students had planned a large demonstration that started off loud and noisy, but not violent. They intended marching out into town with their placards. Generals clear out. Free elections. Nigeria wants a free press. Release all political prisoners. But before they'd even left the campus, a convoy of army trucks had arrived, crammed with soldiers. They spread from the trucks like flies. The shooting began without warning. Shadow remains very still, listening to Papa tell Mama what he's seen. He's hardly at home these days. There are so many terrible reports about what the soldiers are doing. Some newspapers are too scared to publish them. Others have shut, been shut down, but Papa's newspaper has been moving from office to office to st stop the soldiers finding them. Papa says the brass buttons like to pretend to the world and themselves that everything is normal, but actually they're living under a state of, emer of emergency. Two days later, after the photos and stories were published, the soldiers came to take Papa away.